So hello there, welcome to the Beetle Garage. For me, next to Fall Granatus Mulleri, this is the most beautiful stag beetle I know. Cyclomatus metallifer fine. So it's really like cast it in bronze with this uh, elegant metallic finish. It's incredibly beautiful. And of course, Cyclomatus metallifer it's very special also because the male has mandibles that are bigger even than the body size. So this is really special about Cyclomatus and fantastic. Here you see a male that has approximately the same size of mandibles as the body, but uh, the mantle width can get up to six centimeters and then the body width around three centimeters looks very small compared to this elongated mandibles. So also people make some sports about that, especially in Japan where people try to breed the longest mandibles compared to the body size. And the king in this category is always this nice and beautiful metallic shining beetle to Clomatus metallifer. Here is the male and next to it probably we see it here a little bit better on this uh, melon uh, you see the female of it. Yeah. I just uh, these days I got uh, an interesting link from Maria Fremlin, she's the stag beetle expert in the UK about uh, the use of juvenile hormone to make mandibles bigger in uh, Tuclomotus metallifer. They found out that it works if you apply uh, this uh, juvenile hormone just after the last mold and before pupation. So it will give uh, an extra long mandible size. Especially interesting, of course, for Japanese breeders. They really make uh, a sport out of it. And where there's sport, that's also topping, as you know. So uh, you can be sure that they use some juvenile hormones also to make the longest uh, beetles for the competitions. But I'm just making it because I love this nice beetle and I want to uh, breed it. And for that, I just prepare a breeding box now with a different kind of wood pieces. It's a white rotten. This is a, a little bit a harder white rotten wood piece of oak. Then I have some old pieces. And of course I mix in some soil on the top and I keep it slightly wet. It said that Cyclomotus um, metallifer is not uh, a stag beetle that the laurels live inside of massive uh, wood pieces so it's better to also give them different kind of materials that they can choose what kind of uh, food they need for their offspring. So I wet it here and I put the pear on top of it with the watermelon for me it seems not a problem if it's going to rotten there's enough space for this uh, plant material to ferment inside of this uh, piece uh, of substrate here with these different kind of wood blocks and if you're interested come back see what's happening here in around half an year we will dig for Lorvas of this nice pair of Cyclomatus metallifer fine from the island of Indonesia. Thanks for watching.